Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 465. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 458 to 465. Hey, in this trick here we have a cake manufacturer. Here's the shifts. And here's the cake that they made on each one of these shifts. Here are the number of cakes. So cake three, 50 cakes made, and we need to tally the difficulty score. The difficulty details are over on this table sheet, so for cake three, we'd have to come over to this column, and here's all of the difficulty scores, and since there's seven tasks in making the cake, we have for cake three, we have four, four, so task one is uh, difficulty four, task two is difficulty four, three, seven, five. So our goal is in this sheet right here to have 50 multiplied by each one of these individual numbers and that'll give us the total. So guess what? This is going to involve a lookup, so cake 3, that returns an entire row. So let's do the lookup entire row first and then uh, because we're going to be returning an entire row of values, that makes it an array, we'll have to do some sort of array formula or use the sum product to multiply that array times the number 50. We'll use the index to look up an entire row. Our array, and then we need a row number, so the row number part of our index will say, hey, find cake 3, and it will find whatever row that is in. Uh, but the array, we're simply going to highlight, click on the table, and highlight the entire table. Because remember, if we're looking up a row, we have to have all the rows of data. Now, I'm going to hit the F4 key because we need to lock that as we go down. Comma, and then we need to do a um, match. And what is match going to do? Actually, we're going to have to come back over here. Match, I'm actually going to uh, delete that and type B11 since it's in a B11 match function will find the ordinal position or the relative position so it can find cake in that list over there and tell us it's the third item which is exactly what we need because the match is going into the row for index so if it's in row 3 then index will extract the entire third row so match comma and look up array it's going to be this a sheet reference there uh, I have named it cake, so that's why it shows up as cake there, comma, and then we need an exact match. The, why do we need an exact match? Because we're looking up words and they're not sorted alphabetically. Actually, they are sorted alphabetically. We could, But uh, nevertheless, in case they're not sorted alphabetically, I'm going to put a zero, exact match, close parentheses. Now, the final argument, comma, column index, here's the whole trick for extracting a row. If you put a zero here, a zero here, you can see it up there, there's the column number that tells the index function. Once it finds the row number right here, if there's a zero there, it will find this row and extract the entire row. Now the exact reverse is true. If you wanted a whole column, then you would have to put the zero in the row. So that's a, that's a cool enough trick right there, looking up an entire column. Now let's just take note, uh, cake 3 is 4437544. I'm going to highlight this and hit the F9 key, and sure enough, it looked up the entire row, 4437544, control Z to undo that. Now what do we want? We need to uh, do what with that array of values? Well, we need to multiply it by 50, and so we're going to use, since we're doing operations on array, we'll use some product. Array 1, now watch this, here's another important point, comma, if we click right here, that's the second array, and we close parentheses. We're thinking, oh, okay, no problem. Some product can do array formulas. It'll take this uh, array of values right here and multiply it times that 50. I'm going to control Z. But why doesn't it work? Because some product is programmed. These arrays have to be the same dimension. This dimension right here is 1 by 7. 
and this is one by one. So it won't work with the comma. But you can just multiply. Use multiplication symbol, and boom, that's how to get around the requirement for some product that the arrays have to be the same dimension. All right, and then we just hit um, Enter. Double click and send it down. Actually, I'm going to copy it down to here. We get an NA for cakes not entered. In the active cell, I'm going to hit F2, and I'm going to do some sort of if. I want to make sure that both cells uh, ha are filled. So I'm going to say that cell is not blank. And then I'm going to say that cell is less than, greater than, double quote, double quote, that's not blank. So all I've done is I've put an AND function. That's the logical test, comma. The value with, will be our uh, formula right there. And then comma, how about uh, double quote? We'll just put a blank in the cell for the value of false. Close parentheses. And then uh, control enter to repopulate all those cells. And now if I come down here and put cake 6, and we only made two of them the score would be 30. Why? Because we can look over here, cake 6. Uh, each one of these values times 30, uh, times 2, right? Oh yeah, we made two cakes. So 4, um, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 12, 13, 14, 22. Is that what we got there? We got 30. What did I do wrong there? Can I not multiply in my head here? <laughs> Let's see, it equals this one times 2, and then uh, Alt equals. I guess I can't multiply in my head. That's what happens when you do Excel too long, right? You forget how to do basic math. All right, so there's um, look up an entire row, and also some product, uh, if the dimensions are not the same, use multiplication. All right, we'll see you next trip.